Mike, how did a fisherman become such a fine fiddler? Well, I was brought up with music in my home from the time I can remember. My grandfather was a piper, that is bagpiper, a fiddler. My father was also. My mother, who was here with us tonight, happy to see her here, uh, was also a pretty fine singer in her day. And into uh, our family, I have two more brothers who play the fiddle. Tim McDougall, who was a pretty fine player. Also my brother Gabe McDougall. You're going to work early in the morning. It's time that we played a few jigs. Fine. What are you going to do when I, I join in with you there? Well, I never did compose very much music, but I composed one jig, and I called it after my wife, Peggy. So I'll start off with Peggy's jig. Okay? Tear off, and I'll get in with you later on. <laughs> There's no doubt, there's no doubt that uh, uh, Mike's uh, death will create a void that we may never be able to, to replace. Um, he was a man that, that could give in, in, in so many ways and it's all those ways together that make, I think, the outstanding Cape Breton fiddler. The, the quality of music is one thing, and, uh, but there has to be more to it at least for Cape Breton fiddling. And there has to be some other dimensions that we have to look at. Uh, and I believe Mike possessed them in some way, in many ways. And uh, uh, we're going to miss that uh, extensively, I think, in, in our music. I, I don't say that, that it's, it's gone completely because there are so many, many others that, that uh, may be described in the same way that, that, that we, we've looked at Mike McDougall. But um, to answer your question, we're definitely going to miss, miss Mike as a musician and as a man. There's a double tragedy in a way that Mike's uh, music wasn't properly recorded. If uh, we were to say that uh, he was to plan an LP in the future with uh, Tim Donovan on the guitar and uh, some of the tunes that uh, he and I talked about him including in that record, I don't even believe were on tape. I think he was sort of saving them for his LP. And that's a special tragedy, as I say, because he grew up on this particular shore uh, with influence uh, like his father, uh, little Charlie Williams, uh, little Simon Fraser, special musicians that are, are now passed away. And the fact that Mike never got to make his own record, uh, that's too bad. But uh, there are scores of tapes uh, in private possessions. They're going to be very valuable from here on in. And I think uh, possibly Mike's style and uh, certainly his compositions are going to be an inspiration to players coming from here on in, definitely. He, he couldn't stay still. He had to be gone sharing his music and his great talent and he's just a great person he was with everybody and I've said this before Michael has passed away, I don't, I've said it before about Mike. He, he'd travel any place for a session of music. He was fantastic with the dances. I know last winter he used to come down here once a week uh, from Minganish over Smokey there to play for the dancers of Sydney. His music has been played in Ireland and Scotland. Uh, he was very generous with the great talent that God gave him, and uh, he'd play at the drop of a hat, loved to play, 